Hello and welcome back. Um, a video on uh, ESUS to do backup, free version 5.0 as you can see. This is a fantastic software that you can download for free from the official website at www.todo-backup.com. Uh, if you click, if you type in ESUS to do backup free 5 in Google, uh, this is the link free download backup complete backup and you get to this page <coughs> it's free for home users only uh, and it supports Windows XP Windows 7 etc as listed here and its download link is size 93 megabytes and you can download it from CNET download site um, <coughs> and the program once it's installed you need admin rights to run it looks like this when you run it and you've got the home icon management logs and upgrade and <coughs> basically what you do is what I use it for is to clone my disk because uh, over time you've got all the drivers downloaded and all the Windows critical updates uh, done I've used this on Windows XP and uh, and this is running on Windows 7 at the moment and it works fine on those machines <coughs> and all you got to do is create a uh, a bootable disk and you basically follow the instructions on their website and uh, there's a very good help uh, site and um, video, video links videos uh, on their site yeah, or screenshots of how it works um, I use it for as I say you can use it for backup and recovery but I use it for cloning my disk so over time when uh, say a month or two months have gone by <coughs> um, and I want an exact copy of my uh, disk I use clone to clone it and then put it away um, when you run when, when you <coughs> what you do is you go into your um, set up on boot before it goes into Windows uh, you hit the F2 key and then you're in setup uh, in setup allow for the second partition uh, uh, to see the the, uh, the drive My, I've got a SATA hard disk so it'll, it'll sh show the SATA drive so if I click on clone it'll show the current drive as it is which is this one so it's a terabyte split into C drive and D, D drive, the two partitions. And what what you do is when you um, run the F2 command at boot up, uh, you're in the BIOS and then in the BIOS uh, make the disk to appear uh, from there and then restart the machine and then you when you're uh, on your desktop in admin mode uh, you, you run this program it'll see disk one and then uh, as a source you select that as a source disk and then when you click next if there's another disk you this will not gray out and it'll say this uh, destination disk and because I've got an exact clone uh, disk which see get disk and another clone uh, see uh, same terabyte capacity disk then it does a mirror copy of the <coughs> of the two exact clone and then let it run through the steps uh, you go and make yourself a cup of tea or whatever and then uh, it, when it's finished <coughs> it'll say successful uh, complete etc uh, once it's done all the um, drives and then you just basically shut the machine down and uh, switch it off disconnect the power remove the second drive and make that as the master uh, so you remove the f uh, primary drive this drive from your primary uh, uh, cable in in your desk uh, in your machine and then uh, connect the slave drive which is the secondary drive to that and then restart the machine and at boot up make sure the slave is then disconnected uh, uh, by cl uh, hitting F2 before it goes to Windows uh, save the settings obviously then when it goes into Windows you will see the exact copy uh, uh, of the slave running as primary 
and then all you do is re shut the machine down take that uh, disk the secondary disk which is now the master and reconnect your uh, previous master to the the cables in your in the primary setup and 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 put the cl uh, clone disk the slave disk away uh, somewhere so safe and that's all there is to it uh, what else does it do it does uh, go back uh, you can do backup of um, system backup and data backup so it'll select files that you want to back up and then you put your destination drive to back up to it so obviously has to be an internal uh, external drive <coughs> and then um, or you can put it on the D drive as it shows there because there's space and then it'll back up whatever you select from here you can untick it etc and select individual folders and then um, if you go back home and then you can recover them or mount them uh, you in the backup mode you can actually uh, enter a password and uh, that's basically it. system backup is what it says system backup and it'll do uh, initializes and then it'll find the system and then it can back up to the D drive but it's not recommended you do it on the same um, disk uh, albeit a partition because if the disk fails you, you lose the backup best to do it in an external um, backup <coughs> um, and yeah so you'll just uh, so you can mount the images uh, on from your external backup to see what files were done and you delete the backups and keep adding more backups but for cloning is excellent it's really recommended uh, I did my last clone successful there you are uh, 22nd uh, September and it completed successfully and it just does it in Windows and then when you, when you shut down then you, when you restart it uh, you have to connect the drivers primary uh, to enable the the clone disk to become the primary uh, you don't need any boot up or anything if there's a problem obviously there's a uh, bootable disk uh, I've never had a problem with this uh, really recommend it if worth having if especially if it's free and you can download it from um, this site and uh, there's uh, you know there's uh, four features um, that's the website www.todo-backup.com products home download dot htm and you get the free one uh, free for home users <coughs> worth getting screenshots there they are file backup you can do disk partition backup uh, system backup uh, disk clone uh, which is what I do fantastic for it and then you've got backup management you, if you you can delete your backups if you're running out of space and it also does these virtual uh, where virtual disk format for your PCs so for Windows 7 uh, it's worked fine I used to have Windows uh, XP it worked fine on that as well so really reliable very very good and reviews and testimonials uh, speak for themselves really um, that's it for now. Uh, this video was made on the 8th October 2012 and I um, hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.